What's going on, guys? My name is Nick Chewy Alvin, and this is my lovely assistant, Mr. Michael Watchmaker. And we're gonna show you guys how to do a little knee bar series from the half guard if we lose the underhook. So we're inside of a half guard position, and you know, when you're inside of the half guard, your job is to control positioning. You know, if the guy's trying to get up under you, we're trying to keep him down. If he's trying to, you know, get away from us, we're trying to keep tight to him, you know, you kind of have to do the opposite. And the underhook is key. The underhook is so important for the half guard. If you have the underhook, we have control of this person, right? If we don't have the underhook, if he has it, he's gonna have control of the side. So it's very important that we're constantly fighting for the underhook. But there are some options that we can do if we lose an underhook. And one of them is a little leg lock series that I like to use. Um, so the guy gets the underhook here. Now if I stay here too long, it's very possible he's gonna shuffle me forward or something, take my back, or sweep me or whatever. So what I'm gonna do is, and we'll show you in just a second what it looks like, I'm gonna bring my knee out, and I'll talk more about that in a second, but I'm gonna bring my knee out and post, and we're gonna do a back step. Now I'm gonna sit up for just a second, okay? But when we do this, we're just typically gonna hook. Now the first move we can do is a knee bar. And when we go for this knee bar, we want to grab. You don't want to grab at the, the knee so much because if you grab at the bend of the knee, it's very easy for him to lock over top with this leg here and defend it, right? So we want to grab low on the, the cap. Also, when we grab down here, post up here, if he tries to bring that leg down, like try, try to figure for it, it's very tough. On this. We get a little bit of uh, leverage there. So hug it, sit to the side. And we'll go here. Now, when we do the knee bar, big toe over to the side of your ear, that's furthest from him, right? So, uh, excuse me, the side of my face, it's furthest from him. So it's right next to my ear. He's over here, it's over here. So I don't want it here because if I hug here, he might be able to kick. If he can sit up, he might be able to grab and get into the lock here, maybe trouble. So get that leg lock, or that toe locked here. It also locks his foot in, similar to how we lock the arm bar up with thumb up, right? Now, to finish, we're gonna pinch our knees together, we're gonna to roll back to our back, and hip up, okay? Instead of just doing this, which might still work, but when we roll back to the back, we get that perfect angle, and gives us a little bit more leverage for our hips to drive off. So we're here again, we've got the other hook. I'm gonna bring my knee out of the lock to, to back step. Now, the reason I do that is for me, I don't want my knees to get messed up. And I've done this before where I back step, and I turn, and the guy like keeps, stays tight on my knee, and I'm, my body's zigging and my knee's acting, right? So I twist and I get all messed up. So I actually like to bring my knee up because this way, if I back step here, I can go back and forth and my knee's in no danger of getting messed up. So we're here, he gets the underhook, I back step off. And again, as we back step, we're gonna sit right off to the side, hooking the ankle right here, lock it, roll back, extend. Do one time, just regular speed. So we're here, control the distance, but he gets the underhook. Boom, bring it up. So that's one. Now there's a whole series of leg locks off of this, and we'll touch on these briefly. So if we back step here, and he does manage to figure four, okay? If I'm, especially if I'm sitting up here, and I go for it, but it's not working, I'm gonna grab the far ankle, and I'm gonna twist to the side. And I wanna face then if you notice, I'm perpendicular to the guy's body, facing the knee, he's off to the side. I'm gonna grab this ankle, and there's a couple different techniques we do. First one is simply go for that basic Achilles ankle lock right there. If for some reason that's not working, there's also a calf slicer. So we're here, maybe it's not working, go over top, and then go under the far leg, and we're gonna bring this back, boom. And the last one, you got a toe hold here too. You also have a heel hook, you know, but these are some different moves you can use, okay? So we'll do that one more time. So he gets the underhook here, brings me out, backs it. He figure fours, grab the far ankle, okay, reaching out, and twist your body here. It's important that this shin is here, because this is what creates a space. This is similar to if we have a straight ankle lock grip here, we have this leg here to create the space. So here, here. Later, Joe. Grip, pinch your knees together. And again, guys, when you go for that Achilles lock, sometimes very common with my students is they'll hook it and look where you're at because a lot of times I see guys and they're kind of digging their uh, this little part of the bone up here too high. If you feel like it's not working, take your elbow and slide it back. And notice my grip right now, I'm just using this basic sort of guillotine style grip. So my thumb on the top here. And again, if you get here, it's not working, take that elbow back and pinch your elbow tight to your, your body and up and shrug back. 
doesn't work, we go under the far leg, calf slicer, and then we got toe hold, okay? So that's a fairly simple leg lock uh, series that you can use from the half part. If you, um, the guy gets the underhook, either you let him get the underhook or he gets it when you're rolling. Um, and one thing I like about that series is that during that whole chain of movements, at no point is, are my legs you know, wide open for, for attack. For the most part, they're tucked in, and so I'm attacking him at the same time I'm uh, controlling it pretty well, not allowing him to attack my legs.